Hi! Welcome to this part of my solo tutorial featuring the quick and classic role-playing game. I am running this solo tutorial using the Solo Adventuring Toolkit. If you haven't seen the other parts of this tutorial, please check out the playlist in the description below. So, the adventurers kept heading east, and eventually they reached this chamber in total darkness. Their torch and lamp revealed a complex sequence of paintings on the walls but they failed their enigma role and could not make sense of them. They proceeded south, entering another dark chamber, but this one was not exactly empty. It contained four ghosts. The ghosts speak in torturous voices. It's been so long. They wish to be entertained. Any adventurer who answers their riddles will pass unharmed. Each adventurer took a turn to try to answer the ghost's riddles. They were asked different riddles. However, only Raden, Valranar, Valkan and Hanzo passed the test. Those that passed the test decided to scout southwards, since the other members of the party cannot proceed unless they fight the ghosts. And this concludes this part of the tutorial. It was pretty short but I want to talk about some important things related to riddles, puzzles, when it comes to solo gaming. I'm going to put a link in the description below, where I talk about traps, puzzles and how you can use them in your solo sessions. If I remember correctly, I recommended either three or four ways on how to handle things, but if you want a quick and dirty approach, you can handle things via a test, like in this case, the party proceeded with their enigma roles, each adventurer made a role, well, those that are versed in enigma, that is, those that are able to cast spells, the rest simply do not stand a chance, and that's how you determine if the adventurers can pass. You see how the adventurers failed the enigma role in the other chamber with the paintings. In that case, the party did not benefit from what was supposed to be revealed through the murals. So that's one thing about solo role-playing games. If you are running a pre-generated module, you need to take those penalties or perhaps you will miss out on some areas of the dungeon if the party did not manage to solve the puzzle, decipher some imagery, you can handle it like that. But definitely check out my other video where there are different approaches. I even recommended that you could translate puzzles and some tests and checks into physical activities. In that video, the FRSum from the Solosfera channel, I am going to put a link to his channel in the description. He recommended handling things via um, mental tests, like for example crossword puzzles or perhaps some other activities that you could use to resolve the puzzles and traps. And in that video, I also recommended that you could use those trap books, you know, those like compilations or compendiums of traps, riddles, puzzles. I'm going to put a really good trap book, perhaps the only trap book that you will ever need. Well, potentially, if you're using it for the puzzles, there is going to be a limit, but that book contains many things and pretty much any book of riddles, any book of just uh, things to decipher or to solve, they can be used in those situations, in those pre-generated modules where you feel like checks are not enough, but like I said, if you want a quick and dirty approach, definitely go for the simple check. If the party is successful, they will reap the benefits of that puzzle, enigma, etc. But if not, the party will have to find another way around the area that they were trying to move across, or they will miss out on the items that are awarded if they solve the puzzles, it could be anything. So it's all about that, keeping things uh, logical. They should make sense with not only the adventure as a whole, but with the context of a particular encounter. Well, thank you for watching this part of the tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that have been supporting the channel by sending right through RPG gift certificates. If anyone else wants to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. Once again, Thank you and see you later.